Hey folks, welcome back. Um, I'm showing you a um, custom order this morning, which is a Woodland Journal, and um, it was requested as having a soft back eco dyed fabric. So that's what it is. Um, it has a nice um, clasp, uh, oak leaf. So I will go ahead and show you this fabric. This fabric, I have to say, I am inordinately pleased with. Um, as far as eco dye goes, it's not the clearest, but um, I really do love the impressions of the kind of watercolory effect, and it reminds me of um, the forest floor and the leaf litter and all the leaves and the layers. I think it's really beautiful. Um, so there is a um, like a big sycamore here. Um, there's a plant coming up here with um, stalky, planty things, and a um, couple of leaves here. There's something a bit fainter here. You can see leaf shapes. What I'm most pleased about is this area with this beautiful very very deep indigo from the uh, tree leaf and you can see that fern has made like a relief over there it looks so very pretty and so I've teamed it with stitching in different colours um, very very dark blue here with golds and olives and creams it's just very forest floor and I think there's another bit on the back here. I'm actually hard pressed to let this uh, journal go. I love this fabric so much. <laughs> so I may have to fight you for it. So inside. I have used a lot of um, eco dye papers as well. Um, I'll show you a close-up here because I love the detail on this uh, bramble. You can see these tiny thorns. One, two, three. Is that focusing properly? You can see them. For people who are not um, familiar with what eco dye is, um, there's no actual dye added to your paper uh, or fabric. Um, but the leaves themselves, when they are sandwiched between fabric and paper, um, the dye is extracted where they sit or in situ. And um, that's how you get those wonderful leaf shapes and patterns. And there's another piece here with a plant and a flower head. This is a dictionary desk. Uh, definition, sorry, Ninophilist, a haunter of the woods, one who loves the forest and its beauty and solitude. This is a um, vintage book cover on tracing paper, some handmade, uh, uh, not handmade, this is um, vintage ledger. And this quote here, and into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. I've used this a few times through the journal in different ways, so you'll see that repeated. This is a set of um, lovely insect cards from Chikuna. It's a bird paper clip, and um, I've backed these tea cards with tea dyed paper for a little writing area. The lady who wanted this book um she likes um collecting things and making little um notes and writing little poems and things like that so she said um she didn't need a vast amount of writing space but just little places tags and things that she could write on so that's what i've tried to do um, here again I've given you some small writing areas. These are stitched on the sewing machine. bit of loose thread there. And this one also. 
I thought this looked quite interesting um, to fussy cut a non tea dyed page. I quite like how that's come out, um, just using some old Encyclopedia style line drawings. There's some very pretty scraps here from um, Alfred, Alfred Wainwright's Walking Books. These are all um, handwritten notes, they're really pretty. Um, there's a postage stamp and here I've used, you'll see some writing at the back. Um, that's the quote again. And again along here and into the forest I go. But that's showing, so this is eco-dyed paper again. This is stamped on um, sewing paper, a hand cast stamp. And some lines stamped there and there's a pocket. I've used a few scraps of um, hand inked tracing paper and um, I do this kind of try and make it look like bark so that it's again on that envelope there some nice pussy willow here from uh, Edith Holden so this is one of those envelopes Oh, I've forgotten to put the little label there, <laughs> so I'll have to do that before it goes. I'll leave it out so that I'm reminded. So this is your vintage um, alphabet practice. Some batik here on hand-dyed fabric with some lovely copper staples. More eco dye. made paper with petals, um, lots of journaling cards, some vintage book pages, some plant impressions. There's another one of those um, on white paper. And I've sewn some more um, tracing paper here for this writing area. And that's just going there, little vintage book pages again. For pocket these are more of those chikuna cards and I don't know if the camera shows from that far away some uh, stitching all along there and in here is a tag again with eco dyed paper and stitching and a wildflower stamp. And I've made these fasteners with um, some reinforced book page. I've used a lot of uh, nature books again uh, for the book pages, uh, for the scraps and bits and pieces. Um, some little tiny dried flowers and plants. There's a little one here. It's a skeletonized um, hydrangea petal. A writing area of um, tracing paper here. This is more Alfred Wainwright. I, I just love his his pages are so pretty. And they're all full of little bits and pieces that you can use on each page. They're just gorgeous. Worth looking out for in the charity shops if you can. So I've used this idea again of um, machine stitching the writing lines on the sewing machine um, and trapping. On my last book I used some bits of fabric. Here I've, I've used paper, just a little scrap of graph paper. And... A random line from a, a nature book. Hand carved mushroom stamps. And this is a um, was another request from the lady who would like a wolf, she said. Who looks quite cool. So I've done two um, pictures like this printed on tracing paper. This is a grass print. 
and because she likes collecting little bits and pieces I've done these little um, glassine bags and you used lined paper here um, just folded over the bottom so that you have this to label what you've collected if you wanted um, and this bit has a bit of book page so I've put a little label area there and a hand carved stamp a little tag And this is hand drawn on, um, I really love this working with this brown wrapping paper actually. So that's what I've used here. And just drawn onto the page. Um, got a bit tangled up here again. So I've used this idea a few times. Um, and this was just a bit random. Um, I think I was trimming this for something else and it turned into something else again as these things do so I've used some eco dye on the back to give you a nice big writing space and just has a little pocket on the side there for another journaling card I think these Tim Holtz papers are just something else aren't they however you cut them they just look pretty um, so another specimen here of an oxide daisy and a um, hand carved stump on sewing paper and I've used this idea again of um, borrowing from John Muir's work and I've just typed out a section from his book there's actually a wolf in this section as well which is quite cool and I've used that brown wrapping paper again and I love the way the type goes on there Um, so more journaling cards, another vintage book um, page, some eco dye with stitching. There's some extra pages here and, and uh, here I've used the uh, quote again in Into the Forest I Go and just split it up and used and put it over several different pages. And this fairy queen lady was requested again. Let's take our hearts for a walk in the woods and listen to the magic whispers of old trees. And this quote again I've repeated in different ways, which we'll come to. Handcraft stamp, more brown paper. I've crinkled this one before gluing it down. And this is lines on the sewing machine with eco dye paper. Another big pocket. This is a plant print. And a pretty little um, vintage book cover. More impressions here. And an area for some extra. Um, journaling cards so there's one there and then the, up here there's a pocket that's another Wainwright picture and then we have little flips there these two I've used um, another quote and typed um, sorry not typed I've used a typewriter font but done it on the computer because I wanted it quite small nature isn't just beautiful even in small doses and then it finishes here it changes the way we feel so some more um, eco dyed scraps lots of stitching some more Wainwright pages some old ledger
more impressions. It's a file folder from an old um, book page. This was another pretty book um, about walks in the Lake District with these hand sketched pages, which I thought were very pretty. Um, so I've just given you a little writing bit there again and made that into a pocket. Another print, more tracing paper with stitching. And then this one, the, the little scrap has um, a bit of the quote scribbled over. Let's take our hearts and some more eco dye. More um, hand carved stamp again on uh, sewing paper, some crinkled brown paper with hand carved stamp and some eco dye little leaf there. This is a plant print on um, an old book page, Nightingale's poem. There's a quote here, nature quote from Lord Byron and another eco dye tag. And this is another hand-drawn sketch of uh, eco-dyed paper. This is very pretty. This um, this was a bit of greenery from a bunch of flowers. Reminds me of a stalk of wheat. These shapes. And this one, eco-dye again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and this was done on. Uh, heavy watercolour paper and there it is excuse me a sec I think I need to clear my throat okay all better right so um, this was a, a large page from a um, a nature book of this path going up to ancient woodlands here I thought it was a nice watercolour just a bit too big to use so I've, I've done it like this and just cut it into um, four journaling cards there and these pages are from uh, Christy Art Design who is one of my favourite um, digital artists on Etsy well worth having a look at um, some more impressions some little tags with stamping eco dyed paper and that's an, an, a different hand carved stamp and this is the other wolf picture and more stitching on the tracing paper These look very cool with uh, white pen uh, for journaling. More press, uh, impressions here. More eco dyed fabric. That's another hand carved stamp on a tag. and um, tracing paper, I think that's a pocket, <laughs> yes, and again some lovely petals and shapes on this eco dye, and the colours are so pretty. You can see the detail of this flower head here, isn't that lovely? Uh, another eco die that's uh, made into a little tag backed onto tea dyed paper. More inked impressions. 
little collage. And stenciling. More impressions here. This is just a little stamp and I've put a, a scrap here to make a floor for him to stand on that matches this side. This one was a grass which also came out very pretty. You can see coming up here lots of tiny details. And down here you'll see some baby's breath. Didn't think that would do anything actually, but it's come out very pretty. It's worth trying anything that you have to hand, to be honest. Um, you can see oak leaf here. One tip, um, if you are new to eco dyeing, is that um, trees um, often have more tannin than the plants and flowers and petals so if you can get a few tree leaves in um, you have a better chance of making a good impression um, oh which also reminds me that a, um, a lady was asking me a question on one of the YouTube comments about the eco dye and um, I, I answered initially but I asked her a question and when she replied I couldn't I don't know, the phone was going funny and I couldn't find where the original comment was coming from. So if that makes sense to anyone, if it was you, um, I was trying to answer your question, but um, couldn't get to you again. So uh, if you contact me again, um, I'll be sure to do that for you. Uh, OK, so we have The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. And some impressions here that are just done in the tea dye. Not uh, there's no ink here, so they've come out quite nice. And just some little scraps. I really like that one. That was just uh, where I trimmed off some paper to um, to make something else a bit smaller. And I was about to throw it away, but actually I really liked the bit that was left over. So um, I've used that. That's more typing scraps from John Muir. And I liked this um, page because it had the woodlands, but on the other side it had some seabirds. And the lady who's having it um, said she lives on the edge of where she lives is where the forest actually meets the ocean so I thought that suited well. Um, this quote here says nature is painting for us day after day pictures of infinite beauty. That's a quote by John Ruskin which I thought was very beautiful. Um, so another plant print on this side or this side maybe. Not sure now, I think that's the front. And that's the end, so I have another page of eco dye and a little um, uh, wax seal with this beautiful button. Oh, and I've forgotten her name. Uh, she's from Instagram. It's Natasha? I'll have to link her because um, this is a button actually and she was using it as a wax seal and she was selling some. So there's a little um, specimen. Natasha or Sophie maybe. Oh, my memory is terrible. But a lovely book I hope. And I uh, didn't show you the charms. So there's a little cluster of beads here, sort of woodland colours. There's a leaf, kind of amber 
see through. This one is very cool. I think it's like a seed pod. It came from a broken um, necklace. It looks like a beech nut a bit. Could be, couldn't it? Or some kind of seed pod at least. And there's a frog on a lily pad. And there's uh, a mushroom on this envelope that I've taken off for now. Like so. And I think that's the end of the book. I'll be focusing or not today. This camera is so moody. <laughs> Never mind. We'll leave her to it. Okay, so um, I do hope you've enjoyed your my flip through. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.